Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk a bit about heap sort. But before we talk about heap sort, we should probably do a brief review about heaps. You'll recall that a max heap is a data structure where we can pass in a bunch of data, a lot of behind the scenes swapping and reordering occurs, and then we can get back the largest piece of data in the heap at any given time. Min heaps work very similarly, doing their own reordering so that we can get back the smallest element in the heap with each remove operation. Now how do we apply these properties to sorting? There are two primary versions of heap sort, out of place and in place. Let's focus on the out of place version first. In out of place heap sort, we pass all of our data into an external min heap. Then we can repeatedly remove elements from the heap and place them at the beginning of our array. Once the heap is empty, the array will contain all of the elements in sorted order. We could accomplish the same thing with a max heap, but min heap implementations are more common. Now let's talk about in place heap sort. Here, we don't use any external heap, we'll just be manipulating the elements in the array we started with. Our first step is to use the build heap algorithm to transform our array into a valid max heap. Unlike the out of place variant, we can't really do this effectively with a min heap, you'll see why in a bit. Once we have a valid heap, we remove the first element. Recall that after we remove, we take the element from the end, move it to the front, and down heap it until we're back to a valid heap. After this process is done, we'll take the element we removed and place it in the now empty spot at the end of the array. We can then treat our heap as being one element smaller and repeat the process. Once we've gone through the entire heap, we'll be left with nothing but a completely sorted array. This is the basics of how heap sort works. Thank you for watching.